Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you selected to create your chart of accounts using one of the business types listed in the new company setup wizard, then you likely have a full chart of accounts, which will give you all the accounts necessary to run a business. However, you may want to add, delete, or rename specific accounts in the default chart of accounts. You will also need to enter opening balances for your accounts as well. This can be done using the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. You can open this window by selecting Maintain Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. In the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, you add, rename, and delete accounts. You also use it to enter opening balances for accounts and prepare account budgets. Notice the toolbar at the top of the window. It contains buttons that let you add, edit, and delete accounts from your company file's chart of accounts. Use the Close, New, List, Save, Save and New, Delete, and Change ID buttons to modify the accounts. Below that toolbar, you can use the Account ID dropdown to identify the account by ID. The account ID can be up to 15 characters in length and alphabetic and or numeric. You can also use the Change ID button to change account IDs. The Description field shows a description for the account. You can also use the Inactive checkbox to make the selected account inactive. Notice all the accounts that appear when you click the Account ID dropdown. Click on any ID to select it from the list. To view a listing of all the accounts within your chart of accounts, Click the List button in the Windows toolbar to open up a separate account list in a new window. You will also see a small window appear at the right side of the Maintain windows, like this one. This side window is the Setup Advisor panel. This panel shows you information about the purpose and possible uses of whichever field you currently have selected within the Maintain window. You can collapse the panel by clicking the X in its upper right corner. You can click the Collapsed panel to expand it again and show the field information if desired. To create new accounts, click the New button in the toolbar if needed. Then enter the account ID to give to the account, the description of the account, and then select the account type. Let's look at the information that we must provide Sage50 in order to add accounts to the chart of accounts. The first thing that you must provide Sage50 with is an account number. Sage50 allows the use of both alphabetic and numeric characters in its account numbers. You should set up an account numbering system that's both systematic and coherent. The account numbering system you apply should be easy for others to both use and understand. In a traditional general ledger, individual accounts are numbered and placed into numeric ranges. Sage50's sample companies use account numbering schemes that are similar to the ones that follow. In the account range of the 10,000s, you will find the cash, accounts receivable, and other assets. In the 20,000 range, you will find accounts payable and liabilities. In the 30,000 range, you'll find your equity accounts. The 40,000 range are for income accounts. The 50,000 through 70,000 range is for cost of sales and expenses. The 80,000 range would be for other income accounts, and the 90,000 range would be for other expenses. As you add more accounts, keep in mind a few rules about the account ID codes. First, you can use up to 15 characters. Second, you can modify account IDs after they've been created. Third, you can modify account descriptions at any time. Fourth, spaces between characters are allowed. Fifth, account numbers are sorted alphabetically, numbers first, then letters. Sixth, account numbers are not case sensitive. And seventh, there can only be one retained earnings account. After you've entered an account ID, type a description of the account into the description field. Descriptions can be changed at any time. After that, assign the account to one of Sage50's account types by using the account type dropdown. The account types are Accounts Payable, Accounts Receivable, Accumulated Depreciation, Cash, Cost of Sales, Equity Doesn't Close, Equity Gets Closed, Equity Retained Earnings, Expenses, Fixed Assets, Income, Inventory, Long-Term Liabilities, Other Assets, Other Current Assets, and Other Current Liabilities. 
Remember to click the New button each time before you add a new account in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window and to also click the Save button after creating each new account to save it into the list. Alternatively, you can save a step in this process by simply clicking the Save and New button instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.